this curiosity over certainty and that challenge to to do that is an interesting one so tell me a little bit more about either curiosity over certainty and it's kind of linked a little bit to flexibility over firm plans and structures yeah. for a modern organization and perhaps how that might link to one of the other principles as well yeah so um so, you know, obviously many, you know, experts tend to be very sure of themselves uh, in the areas in which we are experts. Right? Um, and as you know, it, you know, that leads to um, sort of very strict worldview, if not, you know, if not tempered with with curiosity and um, you know, I think in a lot of ways we were speaking to this sort of notion that um, you know, there's almost like a, a set of false knowns in most organizations, right? The assumptions that around which the business operates that people presume remain true, even though the world has changed. Um, and but leaders in that organization remain resolute in believing in those assumptions. And there's a there's a phrase I've been using in my speeches for I don't know seven or so years that the way you've always done business will be the way you go out of business. <laughs> um, you know, and you know, and you know, we wanted to speak to that you know concept essentially of like you know if you think something is true, you need to think again, right? Yeah. Um, Revalidate it. Right, revalidate at a minimum. Humility. Yeah, yeah, at a minimum, you know, be curious about whether something has invalidated something you're certain of. Um, but also, more importantly, embrace the idea that there are inexpert air quotes people um, who might come to the challenge with a very different point of view.